so if i take this to the controller and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to basically create a o data and the o data is going to have a property and the property is going to be data and the data will be an array of object so let's create five of them and here what i'm going to have title and uh, the other thing which will be there is type okay so first of all the title is navigation and type is navigation and similarly i can basically take this two values and put it there so i'm just creating the data so from the data i will create the list and not hard code and individually all the list item will be added so we are going towards aggregation next so let me have this third data points active fourth data point is inactive and the fifth data point is detail okay so it's done the next thing would be there is an error it is not used so that is more like a warning so we are going to use it now sap dot ui dot get core dot set model and here i'm going to basically create new sap dot ui dot model dot json dot json model okay so here let me have this o data which we just created and uh, the name of this particular model will be list data okay so we have the first parameter which is the o model and the second parameter is list i can break it into two lines as well if you need to simplify this code to understand it properly o model equal to this and then i'm basically going to use o model here and this is the name of whatever the o model we are setting now instead of binding it to the core i'm going to bind it to the view this dot get view and uh, set model so most likely you will be binding in the view in modern ui5 uh, application creation so let's bind it to the view and here what i'm going to write is items and here whatever the name we have given list data so items is the aggregation which we are going to use so items and uh, here the path is uh, data and many times you will see confusion in backslash should i add a backslash or not add a backslash now the key here is that if you are going to add backslash here what it signifies is one step down or one level down so if i see the data here inside the data property we have an array and by adding a backslash i'm going one step inside so let me first create the standard list item and uh, i will tell exactly how it works out so let me add the binding as well here here it is list data and this is the name and here the type we have the same thing goes in the title as well here we have uh, title okay so this is the final piece of code we have two properties type and title and uh, the items is the aggregation now in here i have missed one backslash now what is the story of the backslash we will discuss that but first let's try to see if we are getting the output with the code the same output we are getting with the code what we have written we have introduced a data and uh, we have introduced uh, the aggregation binding in our list so let's refresh it if we get the same piece of output it's basically working and we are getting the same output now let's talk a little bit about this backslash and um, what exactly or where you should be using so if you are using a object so this is basically a object start and beginning and whatever comes within this is the object content if you want the aggregation to go one step inside then you use a backslash so that is the rule and uh, if you notice the data here in this case the first backslash basically represent that you need to go one step inside the o data to get the data property and uh, the second backslash tells to go inside the array now when we are encountering array the backslash might be optional so if i remove this backslash also 
I will get the same result. So let me save this file properly and uh, come back here and refresh it. So I will still get the same result as what I got previously. And um, as you can see that removing the backslash doesn't have any effect at the end. Now if I add it before the type and title, then what you will see, this is a common error. I will see the items, but I will not be able to see any value. So they will be blank. Now this is very important concept to understand. And a lot of time when the path of the binding is not correct, you might see something like that, which means that there is a slight mistake in how you represent your binding in your particular aggregation. So I can remove this and then my final result will be okay as it was coming previously. So what happens is when you go one step inside the particular object, then only backslash should be used. Now, when you see the data here, you used one slash, then you find this data property and uh, the data property is actually an array of object. Now, if you use backslash or don't use backslash at the end, it doesn't matter because going inside an array, you don't have to represent or you don't have to provide that backslash. Now, if I am able to reach to title, because what it means by aggregation here is that within this data, I'm going to get a array. So the aggregation itself says that whatever link I have provided here, it is basically an array of object. So you don't need to further add a backslash at the end to go one step inside. And the standard list item is basically capturing the individual objects of that particular array. So to visually say that the aggregation, when we are using aggregation, we are basically passing this particular array into an aggregation and the individual item or item is one type of aggregation. You can have multiple type of aggregation. So the individual aggregation item will be getting all the individual objects. Now, in the individual item, if you are providing a backslash, then it try to again think that, okay, the individual item itself might have a array. And then I need to basically, or instead of array, it can be also an object. So if I change the data, something like this. So if I have this, okay, let me have it in two of the first data points. So it's an object of an object and there should be some property which I need to specify demo one let's use this property demo one and here also I'm going to use demo one and um, what I will do now I will say demo one and here also demo one so I need to get rid of this and if I check only the first two items should be correctly printed so let's wait for output yeah you can see that this is the final output. So you can experiment more here to get this concept clear because many times when you're working with UF application or you're working with other JavaScript based application where concept like aggregation is used, this path plays a very important role and um, you will encounter into a situation where you are not getting any data or you're getting the aggregated number of items but not actually seeing the values. So there might be a slight mistake in representing the binding. Okay, this is simple standard list and standard list item example. Let's catch up in the next section to see object list and more about the list items.